Hello again, I'm Zorana, the latest addition to the Born to Produce team, and I'm here today to show you a really useful Cubase Pro and Artist feature. It is called Comping, short for Compositing. By the end of this video, you will know how to make the best possible track from your performance. With Comping, you can record multiple takes in a loop or cycle and then choose the one you want to use. Or take the best bits from multiple takes and easily stitch them together. As I said, this is super useful and it will save you so much time. So, let's try it out! For this occasion, I will use one of my old cover tracks that I want to rearrange and remix. It's just a work in progress, so don't expect to hear some Beethoven, sorry about that. I've exported some kind of an instrumental just for this demonstration. And I will zoom into the timeline here with a click, hold and drag so you can see all the measures better. First, set the locators above the part where you want to record. I need measures 5 to 9. And check if all of the gear is connected properly. Right click on the workspace and add an audio track. Choosing mono, calling this track simply vocal and making sure that some important buttons are on. Record, monitor, metronome and of course loop. But I'm sure you already know all of this. After that, you will need to set your audio record mode here to keep history because you want to create new audio events in every cycle. I will sing some basic background vocal melody that goes with the instrumental, keeping it simple. Anyways, those are just background vocals. I will eventually process and glitch them, manipulate them until they're unrecognizable, like I always love. So for now, they don't need to be complicated. By the way, all this and more is covered in our recording and mixing vocals course, which is close to 6 hours of video. So if you want to get pro vocals every time, then check that out with the link in the description. Now, when you've done that, you can see that it kept all of the takes, because there are stripes all over the event. And for now, you can just hear the last one recorded. Sure, you will want to see all those takes. You can choose the audio by clicking on a small arrow at the bottom of it. But there is a better way. Here you have a little track control button with small squares, just one click and there they are, all the tracks you recorded. These are called the lanes. When you look at those parts, you can see this little square on the bottom of each event, click on it and pick the lane you want to hear. Or you can use the comping or hand tool to select which event you want to hear. Keep looping and listen to all of the different takes, that way you can choose the one you want if the entire take has everything you need. But sometimes you'll need different segments of different takes. When I cycle record my vocals, the last take sometimes doesn't have everything I wanted, Maybe the second measure of the first part was better than in the last one, or the whole third take is usable, so that's where you can try comping. If you want to combine the segments from several or all lanes, you can resize the lane to the part you want to use. Click and drag. It's easier with quantize, or you can just cut the event, press and hold Alt key. 
you can also select all files, cut them at the exact same point and combine until you're satisfied. Oh, and there's a great little feature you can try. Press and hold Ctrl key and holding the left mouse click on the wanted area, you can listen to it. Isn't that convenient? After that, you can choose the parts you want to keep, parts you want to delete, and combine all the best elements of each cycle. I will delete these parts and move the elements I like into the one lane. If some audio information is missing at the beginning or end, this is because you've probably cut it off with quantizing, right on the beat lines. You can fix it by resizing the events to the desired moments. Just turn off the grid and click and drag until the entire note is there. When you're satisfied with the comping, you can turn off the Show Lanes button and you will get a composite of all those takes. Kinda reminds you of a Frankenstein's monster. Just adjusting it a bit. Maybe some effects to make it prettier. And you can enjoy or hate your new melody. As I said in the beginning, this is a very useful and time-saving feature and will help you get the best performance possible from your singer. You'll see, when you get used to it, you'll ask yourself how did I manage before without this. So, we covered comping and lanes in a very basic way. If you would like much more detail and information on transforming your recordings and getting really polished and pro-sounding vocals every time, then check out our Recording and Mixing Vocals course in Cubase 10. I have already mentioned that and you can find the link in the description. In the next video, I will talk about how to use Loop Mesh. So if you don't want to miss that, just like, subscribe and click on the notification bell.